For more information on today's program, contact Erica Taylor Montgomery at threegirlsmedia.com. Now, back to Punch, media and marketing made easy on the Bay Area's business leader, AM 1220 KDOW. Good morning and welcome back to Punch, media and marketing made easy on 1220 AM KDOW, the Wall Street Business Network. And since we're going to be covering how to maximize social media in round two of Punch today on media and marketing made easy, I thought a good topic to cover in the Punch Marketing Minute would be how to engage your fans on social media. You know, the engagement of your customer base is an extremely important part of your social media efforts, and it's going to really help you build your business or your brand. So a few weeks ago, I'm sure you heard the iPhone 5 was all the buzz on social media. From Google Plus to Twitter, it was a trending topic everywhere. Now, Apple has a really huge fan base, and that's why it's not hard for them to create buzz instantly whenever a new product is introduced. But what about small businesses? How do they create buzz for their products and services? You know, they need to build their fan base, which is not hard to do once you start engaging with your customers by using the tools that you already have. Now, social media engagement does not mean that you should only focus on telling your customers about your products and services. When we talk about social media engagement, we mean that you need to find your target group and engage them in topics which you know will interest them and get them talking. Now, according to a recent survey that was conducted by awareness, the top social marketing objective for businesses was to drive better customer engagement. That ranked at 78%. It even topped drive revenue generation, which came in at only 58%. So you can see for yourself how significant social media engagement is if it's even topped revenue generation. Now, that's not to say that businesses don't see increasing revenues as a top priority, because if you look at the big picture, here, social media engagement can eventually lead to that increased revenue. So how exactly can you increase your social media engagement? I've got five tips for you to get you started. Number one, ask questions associated with your posts. For example, if you're an interior designer and you're giving suggestions to your fans on how to redecorate their bedroom, you could always ask a question first like, do you prefer paint or wallpaper? And then give them a related tip. Number two, ask your fans opinions. Post a debatable topic and then ask them what they think about it. For example, if you're a travel website, you could make a statement by saying something like, is a beach holiday more fun than a mountain holiday? What do you think? And this could get your fans giving their opinions on the topic and creating that important two-way communication. Number three, launch creative ways to get your fans engaged. Hold fun promote like contests or special offers or deals. Those are the kind of things that get your fans excited. Number four, make posts that are highly shareable. You know, on Facebook, those posts are actually known as Facebook candy, and they usually include a photo or a video. So if you find something that you know will excite your audience, do not be afraid to share it. And number five, become a beloved personality. Be, ex- be consistent and extremely regular with your posts. Now, I recommend posting at least two to three times a day on Facebook. And that strategy works because the lifespan of a post on Facebook is only 90 minutes. And on Twitter, they only have a 60 minute life cycle. So you can post even more frequently there. And if you post multiple times a day, no matter where you're, when or where your fans log on to the social media platforms, they're likely to see a post from you. Now, you don't have to be on your social media platforms all the time to do this. You have some free options like TweetDeck or Hootsuite where you can actually schedule your posts in advance and then they'll be automatically posted to your social media platforms. So giving plenty of great content to your fans on a regular basis will definitely get them engaged. So there you go. Five easy ways to begin getting your fans engaged on social media. And I'd love to know if you have other ideas and in terms of how to increase your social media engagement. I'd love to hear what has worked for you. So you can give us a call at 800-516-1220. That's 800-516-1220. And let me know what's worked for you in terms of social media engagement.
And that is today's Punch Marketing Minute. So it's time for round two now of Punch Media and Marketing Made Easy, where we help educate you and help you deliver that total knockout with your PR, your marketing, and your social media. I'm your host, Erica Taylor Montgomery, and I'm the founder and CEO of Three Girls Media and Marketing, Inc., which is a public relations and social media marketing agency that really specializes in working with small and mid-sized companies with very cost-effective solutions. You can find us online at threegirlsmedia.com. That's threegirlsmedia.com. And one of the things that I do offer is a complimentary 30-minute consultation where we can talk specifically about your PR and social media goals and needs. And if you'd like to set up that consultation, it's very easy to do. All you have to do is visit threegirlsmedia.com and then either shoot me an email or give me a phone call and we can set up that appointment for this coming week. So in round two today, we are going to cover how to use social media effectively. And our guest this half hour is Janet Daparino, who calls herself the social media queen. Now, Janet is not only a social media expert, she's also a best-selling author and has more than 10 years of experience heading marketing campaigns for multi-million dollar companies as well as startup entrepreneurs. Now, Janet's philosophy is that social media marketing is about three things, communication, collaboration, and being your true authentic self. And I have to say that I absolutely agree with that. So welcome to Punch Media and Marketing Made Easy, Janet. I'm so happy to be here with you. Well, I'm really glad glad to uh, have you on the show this morning. And I know a lot of our listeners are relatively new to social media marketing. So if a company is just really starting to get their feet wet with a social initiative, where do you suggest that they get started? I always suggest that everybody get started on Facebook first. Um, Facebook is a huge platform for businesses, and I think, personally, an easier place to start and manage. So I always recommend starting on Facebook first. And the other reason for that is Facebook and Google, as you know, fight for the number one spot uh, for um, search engines. So sure. Facebook right now is number one. So you definitely want to be on Facebook. Yeah, you know, I absolutely agree that if you have to make a choice of any platform to be on and you can only focus on one, I think Facebook is so ubiquitous and it's kind of the gorilla of social media that no matter what other platforms you're participating in, that it's really, really smart to have a Facebook page for your business, no matter what industry you're in. Absolutely. So when it comes to Facebook, one of the things that I talk to my clients about now that they've uh, switched to this new timeline format on Facebook is that all important cover image. It takes up so much real estate on that page. And it's the very first thing that a new fan will see when they come to your page. So what are your feelings about cover images and how to really maximize those, Janet? Well, basically what I do is I make sure that my clients are matching their brand. So you need to make sure that if your website looks a certain way, that that you're carrying your brand through all your social media, not just Facebook. So when it comes to your cover, you you know, for your page, you want to make sure that it reflects your brand. And it's even good to put your website address on it. You can put your phone number on that, whatever kind of business you're in, if you want phone calls, et cetera. Put that on your cover graphic, and you can have it custom-made, and you can do it really simply and, and inexpensively by using Fiverr, which is a great uh, you know, resource for things like this, so that you can get a nice cover graphic on your Facebook page in a day and make it look really highly professional, and people will actually feel like, okay, I know that person. It looks like their brand. It's yeah. really important. Yeah, you know, I absolutely agree with you that uh, keeping your brand across all of your social networking platforms is absolutely critical. Uh, in fact, I, I saw a flyer this morning from a local restaurant that had just opened. And on the flyer, they had a link to their Facebook page, their Twitter account, and their website. And each address was something completely different for that business. Mm-hmm. It wasn't the name of the business. You know, Facebook was was facebook.com forward slash eat our tacos. Twitter <laughs> was Twitter, you know, at, um, at you know, uh, hands-on tacos. And then their website was like getmeataco.com. So three totally different brands. And I thought, what a mess. This company definitely needs some help. Yeah, you need to give them a call because <laughs> they're not being consistent and that's not going to work for them. 
Yeah, so. for sure. Uh, we're talking with Janet Da Perino, the social media queen. And when we come back from the break, we're going to continue our conversation about how to use social media effectively. You're listening to Punch Media and Marketing Made Easy on 1220 AM KDOW, the Wall Street Business Network. I'm your host, Erica Taylor Montgomery, and we'll be right back after the break. <laughs> 